I'm not okay, and that's okay. I shared earlier that I'm mourning the loss of my niece, my brother's daughter who was murdered last night in Oakland, my niece Marie. And it's hurting, it's painful, and we're all experiencing this in a different way. And so one of the things I decided this morning was to get out and go do a run because running is therapeutic for me. And on my journey with running, I stopped to get a, 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 a fruit bowl um, in the middle of the run. And what I realized is that as I'm running past folks and they're saying good afternoon or waving, or as I'm getting out the car or I walk into this space, right? Life is still life in, and nobody has any idea what I'm going through right now. And so it started making me think, I never know what other people are going through. Today, it's me and my family. Tomorrow, it's you and yours. But as we encounter each other every single day, I think we should start to consider that we never know what someone else is going through. It reminds me of packages that have that handle with care sign on it, right? Fragile handle with care. And we know that that is on the package because what it's suggesting is that even though it's bubble wrapped and got, you know, padding and tape, if you mishandle it, you can damage what's inside of it. And it makes me think about as we connect with each other as humans on the outside, so many of us packaged up in bubble wrap and we look good on the outside, but we never know what's going on in the inside. And so we should handle each other with care because mishandling, you could create some damage that's irreversible.